So now the question is, how do you download Google Apps on your Mac? And of course, as you know, it doesn't matter if it's a MacBook or a desktop computer, as long as it's running macOS, it's going to be the same thing. And it may seem obvious, but it isn't as clear because there are multiple ways how you can download and install apps on your Mac. The first one is the App Store. However, if you open up the App Store, you're going to quickly find out that there aren't really any Google apps. If you look up the term Google, nothing really pops up and only some third party apps. So yes, you can technically get for example the shortcuts for Google or a G app launcher which as you can see is developed by someone else not Google but it allows you to for example add this like gesture or app launcher into Safari and it just makes it easier for you to access the Google files so technically you can download some Google extensions on your uh, Mac using App Store, but you don't really have anything in there. Like Google doesn't publish their apps to be downloaded on the App Store. But then Google does publish some of their files or apps to be downloaded even on your Mac, but you cannot do it through the App Store. You have to go there through their website. One good example is Google Chrome. So if you open up Safari and go to the Google Chrome website, you can download a DMG file disk image installer on your Mac, which is going to technically install a Google application, the Google Chrome. And Google Chrome is not the only app which supports it. Besides that, you can literally download Google Drive on your Mac as an, a desktop application. So uh, you don't have to type in drive.google.com. You can just open up the Google app on your Mac and you can access the files there. Then you have the Google Meet, which is like uh, the Zoom version or like a, uh, Microsoft Teams equivalent or something similar in that sense where it allows you to like make phone calls so you can also install the um, Google Meet app on your uh, Mac and then besides this you can only use the web version of those apps so like we already mentioned the drive you can go to drive.google.com or to gmail.com and use the gmail there or you can use maps and all the stuff like you can just use everything comfortably from the web browser I do not really have a problem with browsing like maps in a Safari or in Google Chrome. Like the experience is really good. So I don't think that it's necessary to like download a dedicated maps app, for example. But if you really wanted to, you can also come back to the app store and there look for example for some uh, Gmail client. So if you go uh, and again, open up the app store, look for Gmail. It's not going to be like the official Gmail app from Google, of course, but you have some third party apps, which emulated this look like you have mail for Gmail or Mia for Gmail, go for Gmail email client, which pretty much behaves like the desktop version of Gmail, but it's an installed app. Or you can go for some other mail client like Airmail or Bluemail. But for this, you can just also use the stock built in an email app on your Mac. Like you can, of course, sign in with your Gmail account there. So these are pretty much your possibilities in here. Like third party uh, app from the App Store, which should emulate or where you can log in with your Google account using the web version and downloading some apps. Uh, which are officially made by Google and installing them on your Mac. But these are pretty much the only three options that you have. Now, if you guys are new to Macs in general, then you can check out this video right here in which I show you some really nice tips and tricks for new users. And so I think that you will definitely benefit from that. Make sure to check it out.